Hey you guys, oops, I'm back with another video and I'm about to show you guys how I clean my uh, ear piercing, why I keep saying ear piercing, my nose piercing. You can clean your ear piercing this way too, but this is just specifically for a nose piercing. And I just got my nose pierced, I don't know if you guys can see because it has a clear, um, clear uh, nose ring in it. It's um, a L shape, I insert a picture of how it looks. that you would need are um, a q-tip you probably need two of them a two q-tip you need um, a, a spray bottle with um, sea salt spray which has um, sea salt um, tea tree oil and water and my sister um, did it over the stove anti-microbial uh, lotion soap I think I'm saying it right but she also ordered this off Amazon. I'll leave, leave a link or wherever she ordered it from. I'll leave, leave a link below. Um, this helps um, get rid of bacteria in your um, your piercing. So you can um, use this in your nose piercing, your um, ear piercing, or your belly button piercing. My sea salt spray um, is to get rid of keloids or to stop keloids from coming, which are the bumps that sometimes appears when people get um, nose piercings or any type of piercing so y'all can kind of see it more so what i want to do is i'm going to this is really close i don't like this but i'm going to wet get a wet q-tip a wet q-tip right and i want to wet it and we're gonna get a regular q-tip and then you're gonna wet it then you're gonna put some of this soap on it doesn't really matter how much you use, as long as you, you use enough, okay? So you're going to put it on your piercing. You can get it to soot up, it does soot up, but as long as you're cleaning it, that is all that matters. You going to kind of get on it. And when you first do it, you're most likely going to bleed, so it's good to clean your piercing with something to get the dried up blood off. And you also can put it inside your piercing if you really want. Inside your nose, it's not going to actually harm your piercing. So make sure you get it. And then I'm going to use the other side of this to kind of clean it off. To kind of clean it off a little and kind of get under the piercing. This feels so weird because the piercing is moving in your nose. We're gonna take a second one, right? A second one. And you're gonna spray it with the um, sea salt spray. I don't want it to get on the camera, so I'm spray this way, right? And then you're gonna go and with another q-tip it can be the one with the soap on it it doesn't really matter and i like to lift up my piercing a little and clean under i don't know if y'all can see this because this is what i mean. but i like to make sure that i get a little bit under the piercing and then i take the sea salt spray and i kind of spray it up my nose it's salty so make sure you don't spray it directly down your nose just spray it on the piercing you don't have to spray it that close. Sometimes you do like cold something right here and I spray it on my nose too. You have to go back with the soap and just clean the um clean You wanna make sure that if you when you're washing your face, not to get any of the soap. And have your face soap on your piercing. It doesn't really bother you. Like the, I feel like the first day it bothers you the most because you can kind of like feel it in there. And you're not. I feel like you're not used to having a piercing, so like it's gonna feel weird in your nose. That's it. So it's like super easy. You can do this before you go to school. You must. You have to do it two to three times a day. 
This is my second time doing it because earlier I tried to do it. My battery died, so I'm gonna do it again tonight. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to know how I got my piercing done or like what happened or how do we do it, you can like the video or comment below. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. I'm trying to upload every week or if I don't upload every week, it's like every two weeks. I'm trying to get into a routine. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and ignore my hair because I know it looks a hot mess. I haven't done anything with it. I'm not going anywhere today. But yeah, um, thank you for um, watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you in the next video.